Our next movie, The Free State of Jones. Are we on? A man by the name of Newt Knight back in 1863 was in Civil War. This is a docudrama as well. Um, his, his modern day family are quite proud of him from what they've indicated to me. Uh, this wasn't a very, very intelligent man. And I guess his offspring are just as intelligent as he was. He was, had a lot of wisdom. Uh, New Knight in 1863 was fighting in the American Civil War. He was on the side of the South, th those who lost the war. And after seeing his nephew die in battle trying to, while he was trying to save his life, and he, he decided this is this war is foolish. It's just not worth it. And he goes home back to his farm. Well, at his farm, his child gets sick, almost dies, and it is a black woman and her healing ability that arrives at the farm as a slave, and she heals his child. Now that, I mean, if you love your children and the a stranger, a black woman comes in and saves your child's life and you really love that child, you're going to be indebted to that person for a long, long time. And what he found out, though as time goes by, he gets branded a traitor, right? The Army of the South at that time was stealing from their own people, except for the wealthy. The wealthy were apparently didn't even have to commit to putting uh, sons and daughters, in, or putting sons in the military, like the poor of the South had to. The, the wealthy didn't even have to uh, have their food crop and all their other crops and their farm animals confiscated like the poor had to. There was a real social, somewhat like modern day United States going on back in the south of in the 1860s in the, the south of the United States. It's what's going on today in America where the, the poor are being forced to pay everything and the rich are hardly doing a goddamn thing. It's the same situation and Newt Knight realized this and he knew this and it was so unfair. Then when the Confederates showed up to steal from his neighbor's land to steal all their food and their animals so there would be nothing left for them to eat during the winter, they would have starved to death. But the army didn't care, they just wanted it all and the poor, the poor could just die or find another way. And so Newt decides he takes matters into his own hands, and this is adds on to the fact that he left the war, he walked away from it, and he's considered a traitor, and they, they're going to try and hang him. Uh, during a dog attack, which left his leg maimed while he was trying to escape being captured, he ended up in the swamps where he um, met this girl that saved his child. She was in there too, helping these runaway slaves. It's after living and recovering with these people, these runaway slaves who were hiding out in the swamps, that he grew to understand that black people, pe people of African descent in the United States, were people. They were they were just people that wanted to live free and have their farms and have their children and have their wives, just like anybody else. They weren't some type of animal to be mistreated, and so. Newt Knight became one of the first socialist uh, leaders in the United States to see that equality was always the best policy and equality in all things was the best policy. Policy, And he fought for that. And he fought for the rights to vote for uh, black people. Whatever it took, he was going to make his part of the United States an equal opportunity area of the world. And it almost cost him his life, but uh, he doesn't die in this movie. This is a true story. He actually goes on, but the blacks, the black, black Americans paid a hell of a price. But I mean, more black people were shot 
in 2015 were murdered by the police departments across the United States than ever were lynched during the uh, the uh, lynching period. I don't from 18. I think it's from 18. 68 to 1930, I mean, this was a lynching period, more were shot last year in the United States, shot to death by police officers or beaten to death, than, than the people, than the amount that were lynched during that other time period of horror for the black, black people of America. Uh, this is a really great socialist movie. It's about justice for all, equality for all, and it's just a, an uplifting film. I'm surprised that it only lasted one week at the local theaters here. But this is a film you need to see if you're studying social justice and you want to see the history and the beginnings of the socialist movement in the United States towards equality. Highly recommend uh, the free state of Jones, which was actually him creating a state within the United States because he became a pro, um, he became pro with the Union Army. Uh, he thought the Union should win because of their stands on freedom. And so he joined his piece of Mississippi, which he broke away from Mississippi, called it the free state of Jones and joined up with the Union, and he actually helped the Union in the war. Uh, Free State of Jones is a ter terrific film.